happy new year how you doing how was your new year's i hope it was good yeah now serious things yeah i'm not ramping with you lot i'm not ramping yeah 2019 yeah you lot need to fix up like seriously i don't want to hear none of this i'm broke i can't afford we need to change that i need to change that yeah i ain't broke but you know i just need to change that you feel me i just need to change that the whole mindset of oh i need money to do this i need money to do that no no that has to stop and i'm gonna tell you how ways to stay on top of your money <laughs> i don't know why i'm so excited i really don't i need to calm down this is a serious video serious okay cool number one this is a big one yeah a really really big one because enough people out here say it screaming i need money i need this babes do you even have a job get a job do you know what i'm saying number one get a job get a job you can't be screaming at the top of the hilltop saying that you want this you want this you aspire for this you aspire for that with what money your pockets are empty my darling you need to fix that fix it get a job it's, it, the thing is yeah nowadays it's not that hard to get a job like if you're going for the right job then you're good like if you're trying to go get like jobs in like high places then you're just stupid for that honestly you're dumb if you get it well done well done but if you don't then you're setting yourself up like why would you do that go for a job that you know you can get what's with the hassle you're just trying to get a job if you really want money as desperately as you say you do you work anywhere do you know what i'm saying a lot of people say oh da -da -da -da, they want money da -da -da -da, the desperate da -da 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 -da. but when it comes down to getting a job they're like oh i don't want to work there i'm too i'm too prestige for that oh i don't want to work there I'm, I'm i can't do that like that's below me you ain't got a choice like you're screaming at the top of the, your lungs that you're broke you don't have a choice of what job you you can get like it's the first thing that comes to you so i think the first thing you need to get a job stay on top of your money get a job cool number two stop using your bank card literally you may think i'm like what's you're like what what did she did she just say what did she just say stop using your bank card yes i did i said stop using your bank card you know why because when you use your bank card you make stupid purchases contactless contactless is your problem because you're just going to be tapping everything tapping 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 you're not keeping on track you're not keeping track of what you're purchasing you're just tapping away boom 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 purchasing everything in your site you're making little purchases little purchases will be your downfall the all this one pound this one pound that one pound that little prices three pound to start do you know what i'm saying they all add up in the end so all day you're making these little doo -doo 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 -doo. by the end of the day you've spent like 50 pound you may think i'm being overboard or i'm over exaggerating but that's exactly how it is that's how it is you need to stop using your bank card you need to draw out cash so that way you can save your change if you use your bank card your change stays into your account so you just spend your change do you get what i'm saying so like say something was two pound fifty use your card that 50p that would have been like a three pound or maybe if you use your five or whatever change you get it's in your bank card it's not saved it's in your bank card De therefore it's there for you to spend it whereas if you drew money out you have the change it's physical then you can save it so i would say definitely you need to get yourself one of these money jar i just emptied mine again for the month um prior to this obviously because like it's new year's i emptied it in december and i'm starting again 
you need to get yourself a manager preferably get one that um keeps track of how much is inside i just prefer to know i don't know is that just me it might just be me i just like to know how much is inside of there uh yeah um and sometimes what i'll do to surprise myself at the end of the month well not even a surprise i put notes inside of here too I don't just put coins, so I'll open up the top and put notes inside of there. So whatever reads up on here is not really actually accurate, but that doesn't matter. Because then that extra piece that I've put in there, maybe on a good day or like I, I took out too much money and I needed to save it. It's in here now. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and I put it over there. I won't be looking at it every day thinking, oh, like I could do with like like an extra fiver today do you know what i'm saying no it's in the bottom of my bed over here can't see it good you need to start saving like if you want to use your bank card beyond me beyond me by all means use your bank card but you need to get one of those apps that save your change there's loads of apps out there that save your change for you when you make purchases and then they'll put it in a separate saving account, which you can therefore either take out, put into your main account, take out, put in a savings account, or just take it out and spend it. But you'll be surprised, like you will actually be surprised of like how much change that you'll gather in a day. You'll be so surprised. You'll be like, raw, like all of this change has been in my sitting in my account when it could be saved or taken out. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't notice how much money you run up in a day. You really don't. Unless you're in your house all day, sleeping, whatever, whatever, whatever. Do you know what I mean? But when you're outside spending, you actually spend quite a lot. Like, you quite a bit more than you notice. So it's important that you save your change. Number three. Necessity versus luxury. Now... This one is a very big one. A lot of people don't know the difference between a necessity and a luxury. So, a good example. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. I went shopping yesterday after work. I went shopping. I bought ingredients to make an apple crumble. Now, what would th that be? What would you think that would be? If you say necessity, then you're wrong. It's a luxury. I don't need to buy that. I didn't need to have an apple crumble. That's a luxury. That's something that I've added on to my daily life. Do you know what I mean? Okay, buying new clothes. That's a luxury. Unless you have no clothes on your back, your clothes have been destroyed somehow, or you've been kicked out of your house, or whatever's going on. Other than that, if you have clothes in your wardrobe, and you're buying more clothes, that's a luxury. That's a luxury. Necessities are things you use every day. Toothpaste. Soap what else can i say food if you're a uni student food is a necessity please understand this food is a necessity in uni people don't understand that like they will go without eating so that they can buy something luxurious like what's wrong with you like what goes through your head like me i like to eat i like to eat don't get me wrong i love my luxuries but i like to eat I will never swap what I'm eating for a luxury. Bun that. I'm sorry. I just won't. No, 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 no. You can never persuade me. That's just a no. Like, people I know will definitely skip a meal for a luxury. I just couldn't. I don't know how people can process that. Like, are you okay? Uh, is things good at home? Like... I don't get it. But you need to know the difference. Oh, sorry. You need to know the difference between a necessity and a luxury. Yeah? Things that you don't do every day. Things that you don't purchase every day. Things that you don't need to stay alive. 
yeah they're luxuries they're luxuries you need to have a balance yeah you should only be buying luxuries maybe once twice a month if you're lucky twice yeah you don't need to be buying luxuries every week every day all of that stuff i don't care if you're the richest man on earth you don't see them spending whatlessly do you know what i'm saying you don't see them spending stupid amounts on luxury unless it's like a house that's kind of different that's that's different but like on things that they will physically hold like say whatever i was gonna say drive you're on with my arms going like that <clears throat> but that's kind of different as well because um a car is an investment but don't buy it um don't go into an investment if you're broke that's just common sense i think i don't think i needed to address that but um really and truly you don't see no one that's like loaded spending stupidly on like luxuries do you know what i'm saying like you just don't do that they'll become bankrupt if they do that like they spend their money wisely they invest in a lot of things do you know what i'm saying like i'm talking about good fucking celebrities not none of these stupid kim kardashian kardashian family all of them there none of them none of these stupid people that don't know how to spend their money none of them yeah i'm talking about serious serious celebrities who grind for what they have do you know what i'm saying they didn't grind for shit but it's not about them cool you need to you need to seriously like reevaluate what's going on in your life like you need to evaluate like if you're in a uni room like i am now sit in your room go around your room think about what you need what you don't need what you don't need chuck it don't leave it there chuck it yeah i did this the other day i went around my room thought about what i needed what i don't need what's junk what i'm holding on to for no reason chucked it chucked it yeah that's that way don't need it yeah you need to reassess what you're buying go through like the last month think about to the last month that you went shopping and you did a whole load of stuff yeah think about everything you bought what things did you need to buy which things did you not need to buy and run up a tab of how much that came up to and think about what you could have done with that money think about if you could have saved that money you could have bought more food that month you could have done a load of stuff with that money you need to think about that because if you're not thinking about what you're doing things are just going to go over your head then you're going to wonder why you're broke that's why that's why number four know what you're spending people love to buy things and they don't know what they bought this is a big thing people do this a lot of humans do this and i'm just like how can you do this like how 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 do you not look at what you're purchasing you know what gets me yeah when people buy clothes and they buy the wrong size it's different if you're on shopping online and it doesn't fit but i mean like they buy the wrong size like you're physically in the store you're looking at the label searching for your size and you still buy the wrong size how 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 where's your common sense please tell me where where is it jesus i don't understand like but you need to know what you're spending this kind of goes into the contactless thing the card thing you need to know what you're spending because there's certain things that come out of your account you need to look at your account monthly monthly if not weekly if you have spare time you need to know what's coming out of your account because many times when you do them little quick click things on the internet one time i must have did a 30 day amazon prime trial and they said after the trial you're gonna get um you're gonna have to pay like 7.99 a month i think it was something like that i didn't really read the fine print that was me stupidy um but this that was like a couple of years back so i'm not stupidy anymore i'm smart you understand so 
I did that and then I looked at my bank account and I'm seeing 7.99 drew out two months in a row and this was back when I didn't check my account like I had thought I was on top I thought I knew what I was doing so I had to get that money back because I didn't want to pay for Amazon Prime like who wants to pay for Amazon Prime like yeah we get free delivery this that that next day delivery but like really and truly what is it offering not much so i'm not hating on amazon prime i love amazon i love amazon i love amazon but amazon prime it's just not for me but 7.99 was coming up my account two months in a row had to call up do all of that stuff get the money back got the money back fine but my mistake was that i didn't check I didn't cancel my 30-day trial. Now, a lot of companies do these 30-day trials. A lot of companies do these things because they know people are going to forget. People have busy lives. People do things all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? No one has time to double-check when the trial is done, when the trial needs to be cancelled. No one has time to check. So you need to check because uh, otherwise money is just going to be coming out of your account and you're just going to be like, what? Like, when did this come out? Why did this come out? You need to stay on top. You have to. Otherwise, these companies will get the best of you. You need to stay on top. That's the end of it. You have to stay on top. Number five. You need to calculate your losses for the month ahead. This is important for people that rent houses, have bills to pay, them sort of things there. You need to calculate your losses so you're not overspending. So, you need to tally up how much of your rent is meant to be and make sure you know how much your rent is meant to be so it's not fluctuating. If you have a stiff price, make sure it's that price that comes out of your account, yeah? Make sure. Because unless you have a fluctuating um, rent based on your bills and things like that, how much you use, you need to stay on it. You have to. But you need to tally up your rent, yeah? Bills. Everything that, that losses that have to come out of your account, regardless whether you have money in your account or not, they're going to come out. It will put you in overdrafts. We don't want, want them things there. No, no. But them things that are going to come out of your account, yeah, you need to make sure that you know how much it's going to come out. By that way, you can then forecast, therefore, then you therefore can calculate how much you have to spend once you calculate how much you have to spend you need to calculate how much you're going to separate for food for things that you need to buy in the house or for people whether birthday you know little little things that interrupt every month then you have the calculation of what you have left that last little smidge whether it's a big smidge or a smidge you need to know what you're doing with that now this, on a good month, if it's a big smidge, you might want to spend it on a luxury. I would say not to because not every time you get a big check, you go buy a luxury. That's not, no, no. If it's a small smidge, I say put it into a savings account. Put it into a savings account. When it's in the savings account, you just feel put together. You watch that savings account bubble up over the months. Small smidges make a big smidge at the end of the month. Do you know what I mean? You just keep, you know, let it bubble up. Don't look at it. Just put the money inside. You know, you're blind. You're blind. Your blind box. You're blind to it. You understand? Yeah. You need to be blind. Cool. After you calculated that, then you're good. Because a lot of people don't calculate their months and then they end up with more losses than um, they thought they were going to have. And it's kind of sad because, uh, like, say they wanted to buy a luxury that month and then they're thinking that they have money for it, but they don't. You need to be prepared emotionally for when you can't pay for a luxury. It's okay, though. There's next month. There's the month after. Just calculate. Then, 
number six now you need to open an ISA account ISA accounts are always better because they have more uh, interest rate so your normal bank account will have a standard interest rate depending on the bank that you bank with now an ins an ISA about to say insta an ISA has a higher interest rate because it's a savings account it's for people that want to make future investments have something to save for so i have an isa i have about three ices different accounts different not different accounts different banks three different banks three different ices all for three different things you need to open an isa whether it's one, two, or three, depending on what you're saving for. Now, depending on the bank that you choose, they're going to ask you how many years do you want to keep the ISA, like, locked off. So that means that you cannot take money out, only put money in. So it usually ranges from about two years to about ten years. I think ten years is the most that you can do. I think, I think. Don't quote me, I think. Um... So one of my ices is two years. One of my ices, um, I can put money, take money out as I please. I don't take money out, but I just rather have the option just in case for a rainy day. The third one is for five years. They are all investments that I want to make in the future. I don't want to spend that money now. I don't want to see that money now. Do you know what I'm saying? It's for my future. So that future car, that future house, them future things. Do you, know what, do you get what I'm saying? I'm making my investments for my future now. Well, before, because I started when I was younger. But I'm making future investments. It's very important because you don't want to be in a predicament where you're like, damn, I'm an adult you know because some people don't like one day you're just it's gonna click in your head and you're like shit i'm an adult i'm gonna need to buy a house i'm gonna need to get a serious job in my career do you get what i mean you want to be prepared yeah so when you make that click oh i'm an adult boom i'm good i've got my investments pardon me i can start making my investments in this 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 you, do you get what I'm saying? Are you catching on? Like, if this if this is working well for you, then seven. Sell your clothes and unwanted items. Do not sell on Depop. All of them things there. If you haven't got branded items to sell, and I'm gonna tell you why. No one wants your unbranded stuff it's not i'm not saying it to be rude or anything that's how it is nobody wants non-branded things these days everyone's materialistic as fuck everyone is materialistic as fuck so no one's gonna want your unbranded clothes unless they're like vintage retro whatever the style is of the time in which you choose to sell I suggest that you sell to a company who sell who buys bundles of things. That's what I used to do. I was living with my mom and I was like, I've got so much clothes that I don't want. There's stuff around the house that we don't need, but we don't want to throw them away because that's just a waste. We need to sell them. And we didn't want to have like a garage sale because we're not in America. It's not them things there. If you see that people are just gonna grab stuff and run away, no, we're in London. So what we're gonna do is sell to a company. What we're gonna do, what we did do. I found the company, I spoke with the manager or whatever. I organized the deal that we was gonna have. Um, so I called them, but I spoke to them and I was like, cool, so how much would you give me for this, 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 this? Tried to haggle a bit. Uh, yeah, I tried to haggle. So 
then what we're gonna do and what we did is I set a, I settled a date I settled a date um that I was going to do have them come and take my stuff and all of that things so um what I ended up doing they asked me to put everything in like bags and things like that so you have to put it in big bin, bin bags and like have it prepared for when they come so um I did that now they came they took it they weighed it all of them stuff and I think it was only I only had four bags of clothes and I got 50 pounds and some change 50 pounds and some change are you crazy that's good like on depop you have to sell everything um individual and it could take months for it to be sold that took me a day to make that it took me a day to make that cheddar one day one day and this was when i was like 14 or 15 one day one day to make that money obviously when i'm younger that's a lot of money to me it's not a lot of money but it's money that's something that could help towards something i put that money straight into my savings account that 50 pounds is still in there still in my savings account ain't been touched it's still there so you need to find someone that um buys by weighing your clothes weighing your stuff so my mom still got that deal with with the guy now um them to have that that business communication so because i'm not no i'm no longer there so they have that together so they're gonna do that um and they've been doing that my mom's got clutter in the house he goes and takes it she gets the pee it's like it's good it's good now number eight you need to set yourself a goal if you're the type of person that doesn't do shit if they haven't got a goal set yourself a goal to to make a certain amount of money in a certain amount of time by doing that it's better for you because then you're you have a goal to reach you know exactly what you're trying to do you know how long it's going to take you to make that certain amount of money like set your goals set yourself small goals i wouldn't say set yourself a huge goal because it's just stupid and you won't reach it so small little goals so i would say like on oh, next month i'm gonna make minus the job don't think about your job but like um next month i'm gonna save 100 pounds the following month i'm gonna save 200 pounds gonna keep going up and up and up do you know what I'm saying? Set yourself small goals like that. Or even smaller. Next month I'm going to set... Because sometimes it's really hard for people to save. Like, they just don't like saving. They just know how to spend but no, not know how to save. So, I would say, like, start £25, £50. You know, going up like that. Small, small, small. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you can get into the gist of it. Then you can start, you know, you'll be better. Cool. Number nine, stop making excuses of why you spent your money. Enough people try and justify what they spend and that's really bad for you. Like, that's bad for your health. If you have to go and justify yourself for why you're buying something, that means you're not meant to buy it. If you have to persuade yourself to buy it, you know, you weren't meant to buy it. It's not for you. It's okay. You don't have to force it. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't make excuses. I hate people like that. Like, you see them in the store deliberating with themselves. Like, I should get it, but I don't want to get it. But I really should get it because you know why? It will make me a better person if I do that. People like that, bah, bye, bye. 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 It's not good. It's not good for you. Like, it's really not good. If you keep doing that, you're going to be like, raw. Like, you're going to be doing that your entire life. If you keep doing that, you're going to do it your whole life. And then, like, everything is going to be, like, unnecessary spending. Unnecessary spending because you're persuading yourself to do this. 
If you persuade yourself to get something small, you're going to end up persuading yourself to buy a car when you are not ready, when you are not stable. That's what you're going to do. Yeah? I'm not even being dramatic. The smaller you start, the bigger it gets. Cool. Number 10. You made it. Act blind to the money. Act blind to the money. I'm not crazy. Act blind to the money. I'm being serious. It will get you far. If you act blind, it will get you far. It will get you far. It will. Like, I'm being dead ass. Like, you need to act blind. When you get paid, you don't see it. You can't see it. You don't know how much you got. Actually, no. I would say check how much you got because some of these workplaces try to bump you with how much they, they uh, what's it, give you money. But after that, act blind to it. Put it in your savings account. If you did what I said before about checking how much you have for the next month, then you know exactly how much money to take out of that to put into your savings account. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand? Like, it's all... You know what I mean? Do you get what I mean? Like... You just need to, you know, if you follow them steps, then you should be good. You should be saving money instantly. Like, you're going to see money rolling back into your account. Money that you thought that you spent, it's going to be rolling back. And then you're going to be like, rah. Hey, don't tell me it don't work, because I know it works. It's been working for me very well. Thank you very much. But, yeah, I'm just trying to put you guys on it. If you take my advice, you take my advice. I'm not forcing it on anyone. I'm not pushing it on nobody. It's there if you want it. Do you know what I'm saying? So, take my advice if you like. I hope that your bank account prospers and gets bigger. In the name of Jesus, in 2019, amen. And amen. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. See you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.